We are Eagle Capsule. My name is Mati Jafaj and I'm the Creative Communications Director of, of Eagle Capsule. And yeah, we're here on Times Square and we're presenting uh, Eagle Capsule for the first time in the US. Um, Eco Capsule is a microhome. It's uh, basically used usually as a cabin. It's uh, completely self sufficient, courtesy of the propeller and of the solar panels. We got a high capacity battery uh, underneath the floor. It's 9.7 kilowatt hours. Uh, we got a, a small electric cooktop. We have a dry separating toilet. We have a shower with hot water. Uh, Eco Capsule also features an HVAC, meaning uh, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. We have a double bed, a pull out double bed. And basically, Eco Capsule serves as a hub to cater all your basic needs. Uh, and the rest is outside, okay? Okay, so Eco Capsule can be um, transported using different ways. It can be transported uh, on a trailer, on a custom designed trailer that we produce. And it can be pulled by a car. It can also be transported by a helicopter. Um, this means, now if you look at the implications of that, this means that Eco Capsule can be put to places with no infrastructure at all and no roads at all, okay? So mountains, reserves, national parks, you know, we leave zero ecological trace. I used to joke that uh, the only trace Eco Capsule leaves are four shallow holes from its legs, you know, and that's it. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's also possible to use in highly protected natural reserves, for example, or, you know, beaches or roofs. So right now we have uh, a couple of clients that we have already already delivered it to. Um, we are working on the first series of 50 pieces. It's um, almost gone now. Then we're going into mass production, which uh, should you know push down the price. Obviously, um, people use it in a you know, in a variety of ways. We have different customers ranging from. You know, people who want to use it as a cabin who have land, uh, ranchers, you know, farmers, people who have who have vineyards and they and they want to rent it out as a romantic getaway. Um, it's used for glamping, um, which is obviously glamorous camping. Um, it's uh, it's it's going to be used. We have a lot of interest from hotels from hotel chains who just want to be different, who want to offer something different. They, you know, they often have land, they often own land, but it's very expensive to, to, to get plumbing and electricity and everything. So it actually makes sense for them to place eco capsules there and offer them for rental. So as I already said, you can put eco capsules on the rooftops. Um, it hasn't been done very widely yet. But it's uh, it's going to happen definitely. Um, there are you know rules and regulations in in, in in different countries that are very different. So in some countries you're allowed to do that. In some countries you're not allowed to do that. Um, basically, it's a really nice way of presenting the capsule. But it also it pays off for whoever invests in that because he or she can rent it um, for a lot of money because you have obviously very very beautiful views from rooftops and of course you know eco capsules love rooftops since there's a lot of sun and a lot of wind on rooftops unlike here in Times Square where there is just not enough sun it would be of course wonderful to use it at, in, in such a city as New York you know putting them on rooftops and you know people saving money I think I, I think eventually if we get the distribution running we already have a couple of distributors in the US and we just came we just started here okay it's the first time for an eco capsule to, to be here um, well actually the second time because we we shot an ad for a, for, a, for a big um, bank with uh, James Gordon two years ago um, but you know it was never officially introduced until now so yes I think in a couple of years time I think that's gonna be an option if they let you obviously I'm not sure you know let you it whether it's the government or whether it's uh, the local authorities so water 
Um, okay, so there are two two main ways to get water. Uh, one is you can absolutely harvest rain. If you, if, you, if you see this, there is a gutter there, and you can harvest rainwater, and the water then gets filtered. Okay, we have uh, a chain of very efficient filters uh, installed in the in the system, in the water system, so that you can also use water from any natural source, like a river or a stream or lake. Okay, and it gets filtered into clean water. So that's that's a good way to get water. And then of course, you know, electricity. You don't have to take care about that. What you have to take care about, though, is, uh, I mean, you can't attach it to normal plumbing. We have a dry separating toilet right there. You have to, uh, okay, so, so the urine is collected um, in, a, in, a, in a tank, and the feces are collected in a, in a special bag. You have to get, take out the bag once a month, I would say. Uh, you gotta get rid of the urine also once a month. Uh, if you dilute the urine um, with water, in a ratio of, of 1 to 10, um, it's, it's completely okay to, to discharge it anywhere, okay? It's not going to harm, harm the earth. Um, with the feces, there are several ways how to, how to deal with the feces. For example, if, uh, if, you if your eco capsule is stationary, more or less, you can have a... We always advise to get a, um, a composting device. So after adding uh, bacteria tablets to the feces, the, the bacteria take care of the rest. And then you can either, you know, um, use it for your own gar gardening, okay, the compost, the result of compost, or you can give it to a farm or you can sell it to a farm. I mean, there are lots of ways how to deal. It's precious material, actually. And there is an electric hookup, just say someone wanted more power? Eco Capsule does feature an electric hookup for uh, you know cases just in case or if you really want to be connected to the grid. Yes, there is normal plug and it can also feature an optional Manicus type 2 plug that is used for, for, for the charging of electric car. Okay, so people ask me what happens if they, if they put Eco Capsules uh, on desert. So I tell them if you put it, your caps on a desert, you probably die because there's no water. Okay, so we're not magicians. We can't, uh, you know, um, we can't provide water uh, anywhere. Um, so you have to be smart and you have to think about your needs, and what your body needs, and you have to think about getting water from somewhere. Um, the limits of the capsule right now in terms of temperature uh, range, uh, okay, so, so the same temperatures range from 4 to 104 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Okay? Uh, that's the safe temperatures uh, so that everything works perfectly. Also, Thunderstorms are completely okay. If you have uh, a hurricane, it depends, of course, on the severeness of the hurricane. But it's it's not worse than a than a home, okay, than a normal home. And uh, because it, in fact, this is a house. It's a three thousand pound heavy house. So it's not easy to you know. Some people ask, what if a bear comes and tries to knock it over? This, this can't happen. Okay. Um, also, if you're afraid of of, uh, of too much wind, what you do is the capsule has two hooks on each side, and uh, and uh, you just you just you know use uh, steel wires and anchor it through the hooks to the ground. So that's not a problem. Um, in terms of snow, though, you gotta keep the gotta keep the, the solars clean in order to you know, harvest uh, solar energy. So. Now here is a quick view of the inside. Look at that great kitchen. Yeah. And everybody's in the Here you have the bathroom. You can see inside here. How nice it looks. People don't have money. How you gonna buy good food? And then there's a window to the outside also. The capital is new. And they have storage space inside here. It's just amazing. And a bedroom facility right there. Just amazing seeing all the storage space. And this is for 
the inhospitable environments that people might be in, in a shower, toilet. You can see storage space here too. Look at the quality of this ground here. Storage space in the cabinets. And look at how this is joined. So when you close it, look at those sturdy hinges that are there. So it'll close, it'll stay locked. And again, this is for inhospitable environments where there's going to be inclement weather and it's not easy to access or hook up to other sources. I think one of the issues will be the water.